Good morning slash good afternoon. I pray your day is off to a great start. Listen, we are in the middle of the week of what is affectionately known as Holy Week. And I wanted to just take a moment and pause and, and check in and see how you're doing. How's life going? I pray that you're spending some time this week praying and really reflecting on what this week really means. When you look at all that Jesus went through on our behalf in this week, because he loved us just that much. I think it's worthy of reflection and worthy of leading us into a place of, of solitude to pray, to praise, to give thanks, to ponder how much God values us. I want to tell somebody right now, if you don't recognize it or you haven't heard it in a while, you're worth it. The reason why I know you're worth it is because Jesus died for you. He died for you. That means you're worth it. And as we think about this, let us think about this week, who we can be bringing with us on Sunday, who may have been away from church a while or never really anchored to hear this message of hope. Hope has a name and that name is Jesus. And speaking of that name, Jesus, and reflecting on where we are, you know, if you look at the week, this is the week that that so much took place that was transformational in the in the life of of everyone alive doing when Jesus walked the earth and for us. One thing I want to highlight real quick in particular is his time in the garden of Gethsemane. The word Gethsemane means oil press. Wait a minute. The savior of the world, the prince of peace, chose to enter a place repetitively, <laughs> repetitively rather, for a place of retreat that meant oil press. Meaning when life was pressing, he went to a place that meant oil press, meaning squeezing out what was unnecessary to get to what was necessary, to press out so that God could press in to him and pour into him. I think that we can use that and see that as a way of God saying to us, we need places of retreat where we can allow God to press out of us that what shouldn't be, to remove what's unnecessary, to get to what's necessary and a place that's private enough where God can pour in us. When's the last time you set aside some time privately, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes for God to be able to just have a moment to pour into you and press into you and press out of you what shouldn't be. So if you don't do nothing else this week, as we're leading up to the amazing things we have going on, community fair on Saturday, worship, which I think is gonna be something phenomenal and amazing telling this story about the hope we have in Christ. Please take some time, enter that your garden, allow God to press into you, to press out of you so he can pour into you to get to that which is necessary. Take care, God bless, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.